We're going to talk today about a chemistry concept called the mole. Now the mole is a kind of a weird thing to understand. There is a video that talks all about it and explains the concept in a, a lovely way. It's on, it's on a site called ed.ted. This is the video, How Big is a Mole? I'm going to put a link to this video on your website. You do not have to watch it. It's only about four minutes long though, four and a half. And I think it's a really good way to understand this, get a big overview of this concept of the mole. So I just recommend it. Now, as to what a mole is, is it's a word that means a number. We have analogous words in the English language. Dozen, for example. That's a word that means a number. Every time you hear a dozen, you know you're talking about 12 things. Every time you hear the word pair, you know you're talking about two things. Every time you hear the word gross, you know you're talking about 144 things. Well, mole is exactly the same. If you're talking about a mole of something, you're talking about 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of that something. So in that sense, a mole is a word that means a number. And that number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So if I said to you, you have 7.13 times 10 to the 24th atoms of sodium, how many moles of sodium do you have? Remember dimensional analysis? This is dimensional analysis. In fact, it's even a one-step dimensional analysis. 7.13 times 10 to the 24th atoms. That's atoms, this is atoms. Well, I know that there is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole. Oh look, I'm trying to find moles, so I'm done. I can stop there. I get out my calculator. 7.13 second comma 24 divided by 6.02 second comma 23 equals 11.8 moles. A simple one-step dimensional analysis problem. Of course, I can do this the other way. I can say if I have 3.16 moles of magnesium, how many atoms of magnesium do I have? Now I just do it the other way. 3.16 moles of magnesium. For every one mole, there is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Plug and chug, and I get 1.90 times 10 to the 24th atoms. Notice how these numbers are really big. If I'm asking you for atoms, I'm going to get a really big number. If I'm asking for moles, I'm going to get a really small number. Not any times 10 to those, for the most part. If you do this math yourself and you get an answer that's times 10 to the 46th or 47th, you're not putting it in your calculator right. Remember, this guy has to be 6.02 second comma 23. No times is. No time, no 10 with a carrot. 6.02 E23, and then you will always get the right answer. 